welcome back to coins and welds let's go ahead and write straight into the technique so what we're going to do is a glorified tacking technique we're going to go ahead and tack wait for the puddle to fuse both sides pull out tack wait for the puddle to fuse both sides pull out tack and then i will be blowing a hole halfway through this tutorial that way you can see how one would recover in a situation like that because it does happen when sometimes you blow holes and don't worry about it it's not the end of the world just you know you can tack around it a five star technique and then fill it in or you can get a filler rod but you'll see what i do and stay till the end to see the results also don't forget to hit the like smash and subscribe let me know in the comments below what you think Notice how I let both sides fuse and I let that cherry touch both sides of the wall and I try to drag right on top of it. That way I come right back down and fuse both sides. This is what I was telling you earlier, guys. I was going to blow a hole through and there you have it. Now all I do is wait for it to cool down and look what I do. I start a little higher so I could create a little bit of uh, metal. I tack and then I tack a little higher than that and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tack and I'm going to basically hold that puddle and do like a little J motion until it fills in. I'm not going to put too much heat or focus onto the left piece because it's hollow and it's already uh, melted through. But you can always build around it and check this out. Look how it looks at the end. So these are the results. This is what it looks like when one recovers from blowing holes on thin square tubing or thin metal with a stick welding machine. I'm using Electrode 6013 564 diameter. Thank you for watching.